Hello, good day everyone, I'm Tebs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a Devant 32 inches LED TV. Model 32 DT001. It turns on but no image appears on the screen. I'll show you how to fix it. If you new to this channel and have found it interesting, then make sure you like the videos and subscribe. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. Usually, a no video or image is the timing control board or the LCD panel is the problem. Not all the test points have a label printed on them. Let's just measure them if we find the VGH which is about 30 volts. We measured only the 3.3 volts, 6.9 volts, and 5 volts. If we don't have the VGH, it may be the DC to DC is defective or there is a partially shorted onto the CKV of the LCD panel. These jumpers are referred to these labels and these jumpers also are referred to these labels. Let's cut the CKV signal lines. These are the left CKV, LC1, and LC2 lines. This is the right CKV, LC1, and LC2. Looks like the right side is easier to cut than the left side. So let's cut the right side. Before cutting the lines, let's test first the resistance between the lines. The resistance between them is about mega ohms or open resistance. We are measuring between the line in resistance to know which line has the low resistance. I mean low resistance like about 100 ohms.
the resistance between these lines is about 300 ohms and 96 ohms to this lines. These lines are the LC1, LC2 and CKV1, they have low resistance, so we are going to cut them. LC1 is also the VGH odd and LC2 is the VGH even. This layout of the circuit is good because when you cut the wrong line, you can easily reconnect them. Let's cut first the LC1. The resistance between the LC1 and LC2 is now about 10 mega ohms. The right side of the panel has the partially shorted LC1, LC2 and CKV1 lines. Now let's cut the LC2 and the CKV1. Looks there is a purpose why they made this kind of jumper, when the CKV lines get bad, you can just easily cut it, and it's also easy to resolder them. The LC1, LC2, and CKV1 are now disconnected. Let's try and see what is the result. Looks okay now. Let's try it with a signal connected to it. We have a video now but it's flickering. It's so much more valuable than not owning something. Julie Rainwright, founder and CEO of The Real Real, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Emily. We can solve this problem by cutting all the CKV lines. Let's cut all the lines. Why does cutting the bad CKV line and the LC1 LC2 will get the LCD panel works again? Because there is a partially shorted with the CKV or the LC1 and 2. When you cut the partially shorted line, I call it partially because it's not totally shorted, like 100 ohms, not 0 ohm. The LCD panel will work again. It works because the CKV and LC1 and 2 are connected parallel to the left side and right side of the LCD panel. But the side with the bad CKV, LC1 and 2 will get poorer resolution, or darker. Some are not noticeable. And some will last about 3 years, some last only in a week. I can't show you how easy to reconnect them because we have cut the defective side. Make sure that they are disconnected.
All lines are now disconnected. Let's try it again. <coughs> Seems really okay now. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. You can help this channel by liking the video and subscribing to it. And don't forget to ring the notification bell to keep you updated. Once again I'm Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.